Tonight, Muslim leaders in the Twin Cities are asking the FBI to stop what they say is the recruitment of spies at Islamic places of worship. The head of the Council on American Islamic Relations sat down with our Jay Coles to explain why Muslims feel intimidated and often misled by FBI agents. Jay's here now, and Jay, what kind of examples did they give you? Well, you know, Leah, they did give us some specific examples, and they wanted to make it clear that they do cooperate with the FBI to fight any criminal activity, including terrorism. But a top Muslim leader tells me the FBI sometimes goes too far, and she says it's happening in every mosque in the Twin Cities. It's a place Muslims hold sacred, their safe haven to pray and practice their faith. And their mosque is the last place they expect law enforcement officials to ask them to watch their neighbors. We have seen you know, individuals who have been approached by law enforcement officials and they have been asked to become informants to spy on their communities, spy on other Muslims right here in Minnesota and all over the U.S. Lori Soroya is the executive director of the Council on American Islamic Relations. She spoke to us on behalf of Muslims who don't feel comfortable coming forward about this issue. She says the FBI often targets innocent people who have nothing to do with terrorism or crime. We've had, you know, mosques from all over the state contact us saying that they have been approached by FBI agents, Muslims from, you know, every, you know, community and city in this state. And Soroya says FBI agents have asked to visit with people in their homes and coffee shops as part of a community outreach program, only to find out it's something completely different. Something she says that's happened to her in her own home. The FBI actually has a community outreach division, and these officers have nothing to do with that. They're field agents working on active investigations. And so that's what's so troubling, that they're misrepresenting themselves when they go to people. Soroya says Muslims do not oppose FBI investigations and want to cooperate fully, but under the rule of law and the Constitution. If you have information, it's both your religious and your civic obligation to share that information. Now, we asked the FBI to respond specifically to the CARE request to stop visiting mosques for recruiting purposes, and a spokesperson declined our offer. And, Jay, Muslim leaders say they, they do want some yeah. help to try to stop this recruiting, but how do they think they'd like the FBI to help? The best way they, they say the best way to handle this is if the FBI has some legitimate questions and legitimate concerns, contact whomever they would like, but they're advising Muslims to say, okay, I'll do that, but I want to have an attorney present to make sure they're protected. That's all they want. All right, Jay. Yeah.